Despite protests and threats of war from the world's imperialist powers, the government of North Korea announced that they will be launching a rocket into space to place a satellite in orbit next month. The move, which has been taken as an act of aggression by the West, comes only weeks after it agreed to make concessions regarding its nuclear program in exchange for food aid. Food, which is being denied to the country through a decades-long embargo the, maintained by the U.S. and its puppet allies. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea says that the launch is intended to send a satellite into orbit for peaceful purposes, all of which is legal and does not violate any of the disarmament agreements. The Korean Central News Agency has publicly broadcasted their intentions. The DPRK will strictly abide by the relevant international regulations and usage concerning the launch of scientific and technological satellites for peaceful purposes and ensuring maximum transparency, thereby contributing to promoting international trust and cooperation in the field of space scientific researches and satellite launches. Despite the statement of peaceful intentions from the government and space agency, the U.S. and South Korea have maintained that the launching of the satellite is a cover for testing military missile technology in violation of a U U.N. ban. Daniel Pinkston, a so-called expert on North Korea's weapons program at the International Crisis Group, said the launch was intended to underline the regime's claimed commitment to provoke new tensions to help their government. He also suggested the move could risk the food aid that has been promised to the country. Japanese Chief Cabinet Secretary Osamu Fujimura went before the media on Friday and announced that they are setting up a crisis management task force under the command of the Prime Minister's office to monitor the situation in cooperation with the U.S. and South Korea. He also accused the North of deliberately sabotaging dialogue and urged them to cancel the satellite launch. North Korea maintains that the new launch is to place a fully functional polar orbiting Earth observational satellite between April 12 and April 16. The previous two satellites that were launched were only experimental ones. The new Kwangmyong Sang 3 will be launched from a Unha 3 rocket to orbit the Earth. A flight path has been chosen to avoid debris falling into other countries. They also reiterated that it was for peaceful scientific purposes as a demonstration of their domestic development of technology without outside assistance. The DPRK has every right to launch such devices to develop their own technology. Space does not belong to any nation. It is a frontier to be explored by everyone. Knowledge is not private property. These attacks by the West and the South against the North's launch is a continuation of the suppression they carry out against the country. They are trying to prevent the technological as well as economic development of the sovereign nation so they may be subjected to suppression by hostile nations. North Korea has every right to self-determination, and this includes the peaceful development of space technology.